Compiling. Compiling. Also, I got a briefcase. Check it out. Clipboard. More like crap. A briefcase. Got a laptop in the briefcase. Got pencil and ruler. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm, uh, oh, crap. The network's not too fast. Finally in Linux 4.5 kernel, 4.1.15.0 uh, uh, R1. Uh, apparently the Terminator T800 Linux, it wasn't able to boot. I wonder why, Skynet. Anyway. Uh, installing NTP because I noticed when I was doing make there was some uh, some it, it thought I was in the future hmm Skynet hmm information it's adding up uh, so I got this machine HP stream 11.6 inch uh, came with uh, came with uh, Windows 10, used about half of the 32 gigabyte SSD. Uh, so uh, I decided to install Linux on it. The only way I could get network up and running was using the the L Ubuntu uh, live CD because the Gen Gen 2 live CD did not boot properly with network. Also, the Sys Rescued CD did not boot properly. So on this little USB, uh, I've got some uh, deb packages for Lubuntu to load uh, the Broadcom uh, WL driver in order to load my wireless, which I'm trying to figure out for my Linux kernel, which is why I'm testing out the 4.5 kernel. Because uh, I... Uh, I actually had to use the Ubuntu 4.2 kernel configuration options with SF tab uh, taught me and the and the Ubuntu configuration install taught me that it can that I can boot on this machine. So knowing that, I know it's possible. So. I am trying out different compiles. I've got the 4.2 kernel, I've got the 4.1.15 kernel, and I got now I have the 4.5 kernel being built. Hopefully, I can get some sort of setup with this kernel so that I can boot from it with wireless also with all of my uh uh other modules that I need but the most important one is wireless because without wireless I can't emerge new drivers that about sums it up been working on this since Tuesday I think it's worth it either way I'm getting making progress at least now I have a bootable system even though there's no Wi-Fi too bad this this uh, laptop doesn't have Ethernet make things a lot easier. Uh, too bad I don't have a USB Ethernet modem. Oh well, that'd probably not work either. <laughs> either way, it's it's a work in progress always, even after I get all this configured. But once I get the wireless configured, I can get my uh, Vim settings transferred over and get my uh, Bash settings transferred over. Uh, get my dev environment set up for C and C++ and Java. S4, which apparently now I'm the official maintainer. If I go to GitHub. Let me just search for it, it's easier. OSS Develop. According to the IRC channel, I am the official new OSS Devel maintainer. Uh, 
Uh, Google. I'll just go to my my GitHub. Uh, there I am. What, I can't use all, all of my RAM cores, compiling, any merge software, and Google? Come on, future. Compiling! <laughs> So I got a uh, go to my repos. Got OSS Devel for development, and all I have so far is the license. Uh, Give me public license two. I don't like three because three implies that it says there's something that mo that I that doesn't really quite sit with me it says on the on version 3 it says to use version 3 and above and what if they make some radical changes that I don't like there's nothing wrong with all, uh, the version 2 license anyway basically just have a to-do list uh, my main job is to get MIDI support because ALSA which is a fork of OSS 3 uh, open sound system. It's the original like Linux audio support. Uh, with open sound, uh, open sound four, there's some new features, but it's still kind of deprecated. And that's where I come in. I'm going to enable MIDI support. I'm going to enable. Uh, interaction with uh, other programs like QTractor and MuseScore. I'm going to do all sorts of magic with uh, OSS. It's going to be a nice project for me. Uh, learn a lot. I need to brush up on my C code. But I think I have my work cut out for me. It'll be a great experience builder and definitely a resume builder. I'm not sure. Well, that's the that's it for the update. Uh, now I'm a guy with a briefcase. Let that set in for a while.